Megalodon, which is an extinct species of shark, was one of the largest predators to have ever existed. Based on fossil evidence, scientists estimate that Megalodon could grow up to about 60 feet long, with some estimates suggesting it could even reach lengths of up to 80 feet. The weight of a fully grown Megalodon is estimated to be around 50 to 70 tons, which is about 10 times heavier than a fully grown great white shark. Despite its impressive size and strength, Megalodon went extinct around 2.6 million years ago for reasons that are still not entirely understood. Oddly enough, although researchers are aware of this, fishermen around the world have reported encountering giant sharks. One of these is the mysterious black demon shark. Though many researchers are well aware of the existence of an ancient shark species, known to be larger than a number of modern-day species of whales, known as the Megalodon, there continues to be reports of undocumented sharks that dwarf the great white shark in terms of size and robustness. Many believe that it would have been fairly impossible for the shark species to survive, arguing that no such shark could ever reach such a monstrous size again. However, this claim seems to be in jeopardy, as reports of a massive black shark, referred to as the black demon shark, has been spotted off the shores of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. These reports and sightings have been made by a number of fishermen across the Mexican coast, who claim to see a massive black shark roughly 60 feet in length and resembling the build of a great white shark, but with that of a dark coloration across its body and a massively sized tail. Given the fact that many of these reports fit many of the modern-day recreations using megalodon skeletons, as well as their average tail size, it has led many to believe that it could be a possible hunting ground for the creature. Additionally, Many of the fishermen that have reported the sighting have often been veterans in the field, never having once claimed such sightings in the past and having more than enough experience with different species of whales throughout the region. One fisherman reported that he encountered the shark while pulling in nets, saying that something bumped his boat, which caused him to investigate. As he got to the end of his boat, noting that it was over 30 feet in length, he said that he saw what looked like a black shark around two feet under the surface and said that this must have been what knocked the boat. The fisherman also said that the shark was longer than his boat, meaning that it was at least 35 feet in length. However, as he was observing it, he said that it didn't match any of the local sharks in the area, and said that although he had been fishing in this location for several years, this was the first time that he had seen it. Oddly enough, around the same time, he said that the majority of wildlife left the area. Ocean wildlife may leave an area when a shark is around due to a natural instinct for self-preservation. Sharks are apex predators that are known to hunt and feed on other marine animals. As a result, many ocean animals have evolved to recognize the presence of a shark and respond by fleeing the area or hiding to avoid becoming prey. Additionally, some species of fish and other marine animals have the ability to detect the electromagnetic fields that sharks produce with their muscles which allows them to sense the presence of a shark even if they cannot see it. This is known as electroreception, and it may also contribute to the instinctual response of ocean wildlife to a shark's presence. The fisherman said that after this encounter, he tried to write down as many details as possible, hoping that he could find an answer for what it was that he encountered. However, several weeks passed, and he was no closer to understanding what the shark was but the man did note that other fishermen in the area said they too had seen it and described it as being a large, dark-coloured shark that was over 40 feet in length. Another conceivable interpretation is that the shark may be a hypermelanistic great white shark which has undergone hyperpigmentation and become melanistic. This kind of species of shark could have grown to its full adult proportions. The hypermelanistic great white shark is believed to have a hypermelanism is a biological condition characterized by an excessive production of melanin, which imparts a darker skin color to animals as opposed to albinism, which is the lack of melanin resulting in a pale skin color. This phenomenon has been noted to take place in some species of cat sharks and rays, and there is a possibility that it could also happen in great white sharks that can grow to over 20 feet in length. The occurrence of hypermelanism in great whites can have significant implications for their appearance and behavior in the wild, as well as for our understanding. Seeing a large 20-foot great white shark up close, who exhibits these dark colors, could cause some fishermen to believe that it's an undiscovered species, 
or that they're encountering a larger shark. In reality, the colors and the shark being close to the surface could be distorting their perception of how big it is. As of right now, fishermen in this region are still encountering this large shark and still believe that a 30 to 40 foot shark hunts throughout this area. The Megalodon is an extinct species of shark that lived during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It is one of the largest predators to ever exist, estimated to have reached lengths of up to 65 feet and weighed up to 100 tons. The Megalodon had a conical snout, sharp teeth that could reach up to 7 inches in length, and a powerful jaw that could exert a force of up to 18 tons. The Megalodon was an apex predator, meaning it was at the top of the food chain in its ecosystem. It likely fed on a variety of large marine animals, including whales, dolphins, seals, sea lions and other sharks. Megalodon teeth have been found with the remains of prey embedded in them, providing evidence of their diet. In addition, the shape and size of Megalodon teeth suggest that they were adapted to feeding on large prey, as they are thicker and broader than the teeth of modern great white sharks, which are themselves apex predators. It is estimated that a fully grown Megalodon could consume up to 2,500 pounds of food per day. Bigger is not always better. Though many would remark that the size of the Megalodon made it an incredible predator that helped to allow the creature to dominate the oceans during its reign, the truth is that the creature's large stature actually proved to be more of a hindrance in nature than an actual benefit. In order to support its massive body weight and muscle growth, the body of the Megalodon had a tremendous metabolism that only caused the creature to require massive amounts of food and resources constantly available in its environment in order to not starve. This calorie requirement would have forced the Megalodon to eat more than 2,500 pounds of meat a day just to survive, making it next to impossible to not starve if the creature found itself in an area void of a large abundance of natural prey. Given the fact that the diet of the massive shark was made up mostly of whales, turtles and seals, the Megalodon would have been forced to be in a constant state of predation just to meet its daily calorie requirements, even going so far as possibly eating its own young in times of stress and engaging in risky behaviours just to locate a possible food source that would most likely deplete in a short matter of time. Given the fact that the Megalodon often travelled over vast distances, this led to high probabilities of winding up in new areas that did not contain an adequate food source and ultimately left the entire species incredibly vulnerable. These problems are only made worse when one takes into consideration how an environment can easily be changed in its resource availability by season, which would often mean that the Megalodon would be forced to travel greater distances or be highly susceptible to starvation if any dramatic changes in climate occurred. A high competition for resources. Given the creature's massive size and its constant need for an adequate amount of calories just to survive, this led the creature to ultimately become a species that suffered from a high rate of competition with both neighbouring species and its own kind. Though many times in the animal kingdom, having a much larger physique allows certain evolutionary advantages when it comes to the realm of competition, other times it can lead to a much higher resource scarcity for the species in question. The megalodon, due to its large size, was capable of eating a wider range of foods that included schools of fish, turtles, seals, and every now and then, a lone whale. Due to its food supply being made up of many different marine animals, the megalodon was constantly competing with those animals' natural predators for food. This also meant that their finely tuned ecosystem could only support a lower population density of the megalodon due to its constant competition with members of its own species. This translates into not only the megalodon being a mostly solitary marine animal, but a tremendously high risk in not finding a mate given their incredibly low population numbers. The stress on the body. The reason as to why not many predators have ever again reached the size of the megalodon, including different species of sharks that were around during the reign of the creature, has less to do with genetics and more to do with physics. In fact, many scientists speculate that the blue whale is the maximum size an animal can ever reach, given the fact that if a creature were any larger in volume, then the creature would begin to collapse under the stress of its own weight. The only reason why marine animals can get so much larger than land animals 
is due to the natural buoyancy the water provides to reduce stress on the creature. Unfortunately, in the case of the Megalodon, this large size was responsible for a lot of added stresses and injuries to the creature, even when performing mundane tasks. Due to its sheer volume, when the Megalodon would engage in long-distance travels or aggressive attacks, it would be forced to generate enough energy to move its body at high speeds, which only helped to cause more injuries and damages, of which ultimately proved to be more of a hindrance than a benefit to the creature. The stresses and forces caused on the body of the Megalodon when attempting to perform simple actions, such as redirecting and turning around, could have been more than just a nuisance to the creature, essentially making it vulnerable to smaller, more agile predators at the time that were already seen as a major competition for food resources. So, what do you make of the stories surrounding the black demon shark, and what do you think fishermen are encountering? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.